What's up you guys, it's Joseph here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about TikTok and more specifically how to edit your videos for TikTok in Adobe Premiere Pro. We're gonna go over a couple of things in the screencast that I'm about to show you, including export settings, what dimensions to use to properly configure your file to match the settings of the TikTok app, how to transfer your file between devices in the fastest and what I found to be the best quality method possible, how to sync your video to TikTok, and a couple of other things as well that I think you'll find a lot of value in. So if that's the case, that turns out to be true, be sure to drop a like down below this video and consider subscribing to this amazing channel here on YouTube. And since we're talking about the subject of TikTok, why not stop on by at the Joseph Todd, which is my universal handle, and consider dropping a follow there as well. So that being said, let's get started. So I'm just going to start by firing up Premiere Pro here. I've got a couple of files on my desktop that I'm going to use to edit for demonstration purposes. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and start and create a new project called, let's just call it TikTok. Here on our workflow for Adobe Premiere Pro, I'm just going to start by importing a couple of clips that I had from a trip to Russia that I took back into back in September. I'm just going to use these for demonstration purposes. All right, so once you've imported all the files that you want to use for your TikTok edit, what we're going to do is we're now going to create a sequence that has the proper dimensions for the portrait mode in essentially for the, for the mobile, uh, for mobile. So we're going to go to a new, we're going to go to sequence, command N, we're going to go to settings. And typically, again, 16 by 9 is like the standard landscape that you see on YouTube, that you see on, honestly, when you watch a landscape mode on your phone. So we're just going to reverse that to vertical. So we're going to go 1080 by 1920. We're going to click OK. You can mess with some of these settings if you want. Honestly, they're, they're for demonstration purposes and simple edits. These should be fine. We're going to click OK. All right, and again, that's going to give you that vertical dimension right here. And I have it at 10%. I could, I'm just going to, just give me a sec. I'm just going to put these in here. I'm just going to do some quick edits on them. So we're working with something that is uh, at least uh, aesthetically pleasing to the eye. All right, guys. So we got some super, super basic that we're going to play with. I just added a little bit of color grading and then just a couple of other little cuts and jumps here and there. So what I'm going to do right now is you probably notice it's not scaled up to the vertical format here, essentially. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to effects, and then of course you scale it up and crop it to the exact position of your preference. Here's a little trick right here. If you want to, you can just go ahead and copy, copy the actual clip. So we're just gonna go ahead and copy. And what you can do is you can select all the others. You can go to edit, you can go to paste attributes. All right, and then click motion. Since that is the actual settings that you scaled in, the scale of the clip, go ahead and click okay. And what it essentially does is it crops in on all the others as well. Now this is this is what it looks like cropped in since it actually, I mean, I initially when I filmed these, I didn't frame it properly, but this is what we're gonna use for now. They're essentially all cropped in, uh, you know, the, the way I had them. Okay, so what we're gonna do, so now we've got the dimensions down. Now, assuming you've already edited your, your piece of work, you'd put the proper music to it. I would have done this here, but th we're just gonna use this for now. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and export. So let's tell you the export settings that I would I would recommend. So I'm just gonna click Command M to, uh, to export this. So for me, what I found that worked best, and I played with a couple of these, and it's a little bit tricky, it's a bit different than Instagram. So what I like to do is actually export it at 1080p is what I found works the best. Obviously you can't upscale something, this was filmed at 1080, so I can't export it in 4K. So what I found really just works best is, you can do YouTube 1080 Full HD, or you can actually just go to the standard high quality 1080 HD. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click that, now down to the specific settings here, there's a couple of things that I would recommend specifically. Number one, you wanna click match source, of course, so it exports at the proper dimensions. Scroll down, render at maximum depth. I always recommend that. VBR pass one, pass two, it doesn't really matter. It adds sometimes just a little bit more sharpness and clarity is essentially what it does. Uh, then you can just leave these by default. It's not gonna make much of a difference if you move it around, use maximum quality. Of course, select what you want, I'm assuming I'm just gonna do the entire sequence. I don't know what my in points and out points were and just go ahead and click export. So while it is currently exporting, let's go over what I have come to the conclusion as the best method for transferring your MP4 from your computer to your mobile device. Now, of course, there are many different ways you can do this. Google Drive, AirDrop, I found the best solution to be Dropbox. Just go to dropbox.com, sign up for a free trial. You get two gigabytes of storage space 
which is more than enough if you're doing a simple 15 second or even a minute TikTok video that doesn't involve a lot of complex edits. However, on the other hand, if you're going for the end goal like Zach King is, using After Effects, doing a lot of other complex edits, you might get larger files, and uh, that's why you'd probably want a business Dropbox account. That's the same reason why I didn't like to use Google Drive or AirDrops because sometimes the files got too big, they never ended up loading, and uh, the phone simply just couldn't process it in the first place or download it from those individual storage locations. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to... Finder, what I'm going to do specifically is I'm going to find this sequence right here, okay? Now, just go and again, go to dropbox.com, and I'm going to, this is the, this is my account right here. I'm just going to click upload files. We're going to find the recent file. All right, so this is a few minutes left, and while this is loading, now's a good time to say, if you guys get some value from this video, comment down below. Let me know specifically what it is that this video helped you understand. I know for me, from a technical perspective, whenever I'm trying to figure out something like this, I'm always watching different videos, mining different golden nuggets, piecing them together to create one solved solution, one solved puzzle. And so that's what I really tried to accomplish in this video is to provide you guys as much value as possible, consolidate everything that I found so that you guys don't have to go wading through five different uh, hours of content out there. So if that's the case, let me know down below and also consider dropping by at the Joseph Todd on TikTok as well. I know I'm plugging that again, but I think you'll like what you have to find there. So consider showing some support. All right, guys. So finally it finished uploading to the Dropbox folder. What we're going to do now is we're going to find in the Dropbox folder, I'm going to show you how to save it to your camera roll and then upload it to TikTok and you can perform any edits of your choice. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Dropbox. So I'm just going to wait for it to show up and actually honestly should be here somewhere. We titled it sequence something. Let's give it a sec. There it is. Okay. Sequence. You honestly should have titled that a little bit better. So to actually save it to your camera roll, I know this, this process can be a bit confusing if you don't know what you're doing. So you're just going to click the three dots. You're going to go to export you're going to click save video and it's going to save it to your camera roll and of course it's got to go through this process we'll let it do its thing all right it's saved to photos so what we're going to do now is we're going to go and launch the TikTok app okay so i'm going to upload something of course you guys know what to do here let's click upload okay so let's find it And there you can go. I mean, you can see like like the quality of what we have is 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 pretty solid. So again, if you want to add music, you do your thing, you sync it up, you can cut it in in uh, TikTok appropriately. I'm just going to add a random sound here just to uh, give it a little bit of audio. <laughs> Let's go with the Disney logo. Okay, so you guys basically get the point. I mean, honestly, once it's uploaded, you just do your thing. Again, you know, you go into the profile. Here we got. The video uploaded, super high quality, looks awesome, and of course, edited to your preference. So, I mean, that's basically what I wanted to share with you guys. If you enjoyed this video, again, consider dropping a sub down below to show some support to this community. Remember that gratitude is currency, and if there's anything else that you guys would like me to cover, again, I'm really trying to make this this channel as valuable as I can to you. So if there's any editing techniques or anything about TikTok that you want me to cover from a marketing or social media perspective, I would love to talk about that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video uh, amongst the millions of hours of content on the internet, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.